line it up, put like a little bit of an indentation. Poke your hole. There you go. Hi everyone, I'm Naima Ford Goldson with Restore Order Professional Organizing. And if you're like me, you love keeping your old cards. Well, go to your closet, pull out that shoe box, because today I'm gonna to show you a better way to store them. I love keeping old cards that have messages in them. Like if there's a birthday card from my mother from when I was 16 years old or a graduation card that had a good message in it from my grandfather, um, I don't like to throw those things away. So here is a good way to store your cards without it being an eyesore, without them being in a shoebox tucked away in the closet. What I have here is a small three ring binder. I purchased this from Target. You can also get binders from any office supply store. And I purchased foam letters from a craft store. And you see all I did was stick them on there. So this is very simple. And then you open it up and you can see different cards that I received throughout the years. So you can you know, turn through there, uh, look at the different messages that people have written to you inside of these cards. So it's just, it's a better way to store them and it looks pretty because it can sit on a shelf. So if you're trying to figure out what you should do with all the Christmas cards you got throughout the holiday season, this is a good idea for you. So what I have here is with this binder, you can slide things in there. So this is just simply a Christmas card from one of years past that I sent out. It's blank, so I just take that and I slide it in here and that becomes the cover of our card album. Now these letters are purchased from a craft store and you just stick them on there. So I have Merry Xmas. These are stickers that I purchased for my son for his Christmas stocking. And I just decided to, you know, use some of those stickers to show the different things that you can do with it. And then I put punched holes into these cards. Now, with, with a small binder like this, you wanna use a single hole punch. A three hole punch um, is too big. And then once you punch those through, you can just start placing your cards into the book and you have your Christmas card album. And the good thing about this is that, you know, throughout the years, you can just continually add your Christmas cards. Now, what I have here is just showing you a different way to create these books. So right here I have foam paper. What I did was I used a hole punch to get through the foam paper. And then I put the ribbon through the front and the back. You wanna make sure you have the cards in place before you slide the ribbon through and then you can tie this. So this one might be a little bit more tricky when it comes to adding more cards in here. So if you, if you do something like this, maybe you should just it should just be like a one-time thing like for example your kid's first birthday now here's an example of one with metal rings so you can see of course punching the holes through there i have the foam paper again you can use cardstock you can use construction paper um, you can use whatever kind of paper you want any any kind of paper that will be durable and not easy to tear um, and you see with this one, this would be much easier to add more cards in here because all you have to do is release this and open it up and you can add more cards to it. So this one's a little bit easier to do to maintain than this one over here. And I just have all the cards that I received from my baby shower when I was pregnant with my first son. Now I'm gonna show you how to make one. So I have a binder here. I purchased this from Target. It was like $1.88. Three ring little binder. I have my single hole punch. And I have my art supplies box. So in the art supplies box, I have letters. I have ribbon. Don't really need to use the ribbon for this one I'm going to make. I have foam letters. I also have 
metal ring clips. First, how about we do the cover of this? Now I'm not very crafty. Um, I wasn't very blessed in that area, but I do have a crafty mother and my oldest sister is extremely crafty and my oldest niece got that from her mom also. So what we have here is a card that I received from my husband and my son Ethan for Mother's Day last, uh, for Mother's Day in 2013. So we'll go ahead and we'll just use that as the cover. Isn't that pretty? So we'll go ahead and we will just slide this in. And that is the cover. So it's a little bare. Maybe we can put some letters on there. Okay, so ideally I would have liked to center that a little bit more, but for time's sake, we'll just go with this. What I like to do is kind of line it up and then just put like a little bit of an indentation on there so I know where I need to punch my hole. So I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's little indentations right there. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and punch our holes through. So now we have our holes through there. And then we will just go ahead and slide that on. See how easy that was? So now that we have our card books, we just have to find a nice place to store them. Yeah, these will look nice right here. Now finding your favorite card is easy. I'm Naima Ford-Goldson with Restore Order Professional Organizing.